Thank you, Christine. It's, um, it's a joy. It's a joy to see Jeremy's project being launched because, um, let's face it, comrades, we live in a state of paradox. Never before, never before, in the history of capitalism, um, has the need for a radical socioeconomic change. And I mean when I say that, it, it, it's even, that need is even greater today than it was in 1945 at the end of the Second World War. Never before has there been such a huge need for radical change uh, for, in the direction of peace and justice, uh, in the direction of rethinking and uh, transcending capitalism, while at the same time, and this is why I'm talking about the paradox, Never before has the political system been so successful at stemming radical political change. You know, we can uh, wax lyrical about our traditions and about our resolve, but I think it is also important to combine hope, not optimism, hope, you know, as Gramsci would, would have said, with um, realism. And we have to take very seriously into, into consideration that, you know, when Bertolt Brecht said that uh, because things are the way they are, they cannot remain the way they are. He was absolutely right, but at the same time, there is no guarantee, it is not written on any tablets, that things are going to get better. Uh, this is not um, an iron law of history, that progressive politics will prevail. This is why we need uh, the project that Jeremy Corbyn is uh, launching today. That's why we need a variety, a multitude, of such projects and organizations. Uh, um, I heard Noam Chomsky before, you know, we've been together in DiEM25, in the Progressive International, where you know, Jeremy is also sitting on the council. We need to emulate the fascists and the bankers in one respect only, only in one respect, <laughs> internationalizing the struggle. They've been magnificent. Think of the bankers after 2008, how they coalesced. The, you know, it was internationalism in action, the way they got together and they, you know, they, they put pressure all together with immense solidarity upon all the governments uh, to, to take huge wads of wealth from the many and give it to them, to the very, very, very few. You know, socialism for the oligarchy. That's what has been practiced since 2008. They've, they've been very successful. And why have they been successful? Because of their internationalism. So have the fascists. Uh, the Trumps, the Bolsonaros, the Modis, the Salvinis, the Alternative for Deutschland, you know, uh, the nationalist international, they are seriously getting together. And it doesn't matter whether they win elections or not, because even when they don't win elections, in the end, their toxic, racist, bigoted, austerian policies manage to seep into the center right and the center left. So, comrades, why are we here today? Uh, why am I here representing a small parliamentary party in the Greek parliament, Mera 25? And why is the Jeremy Corbyn project up and running? It is because we were defeated. And, you know, the, our defeat can be traced back to 2015, for, at least for us here in Greece. We had a magnificent moment when, you know, as the, the radical left went from 3 4% to 62% in, what, a couple of years? And this was betrayed from within. The reason why the project now is being launched is because you know, Len was absolutely right when he said that he that that you know, Jeremy and John McDonald together, they changed the Labour Party. They turned it into a clear and present danger for the oligarchy. Because no good deed goes unpunished. He had to be demonized. I experienced my own fair share of demonization back in 2015. It was clear that Jeremy was going to be demonized. At the moment, because of this demonization. Uh, and it's not a demonization of the old McCarthyite style, you know, you're a communist. No, no, th th now they are far more efficient at undermining us. They tell us things that hurt us. Because if anybody calls me a rapist or a racist or an anti-Semite, I'm going to hide under the table and, and weep because these are accusations that I cannot stomach. Why? Because, let's face it, anti-Semitism is everywhere. Racism is everywhere. It's even in our hearts. And we need to expunge it. So by demonizing in this way, they really divide us and ruling over the many who are then turned against themselves. I don't want to tie you with my own analysis of where we are, but let me 
just very epigrammatically state this before I close. Capitalism has already morphed into something even worse. I call it techno-feudalism. We don't even have capitalism. You know, the Amazons of the world, the Facebooks of the world, powered by public money, by the Bank of England, the European Central Bank, the Fed. They are combining the worst of the state with the worst of private monopolies. And there will be no peace and there will be no justice if we do not become even more ambitious than we are. The Green New Deal is a necessary but in an insufficient condition. We need to go beyond green Keynesianism. It's absolutely essential, but it's not enough. We need to challenge the foundations of capitalism. We need to rethink the working of share markets. I would like to live in a world where there are no share markets. I would like to live in a world where, you know, the Bank of England gives all of you folks uh, a digital bank account and there are no private banks at all. There is no need for them. They only sap the energy of society and extend the stranglehold over the many that the few enjoy. And we need democracy. We need to democratize. Democracy has never failed because it has never been tried. Uh, think about it. The universal suffrage has not defeated oligarchy for one simple reason. Democracy ends at the gates of the factory, at the gates of Google, at the gates of Facebook. So let's stiffen our lip. Let's become more ambitious. Jeremy, I'm so very pleased as a friend and as a comrade that you're beginning this center, this project. You need it. And the whole of, of chance now of having a Jeremy Corbyn who passes the button on to the young people like Zehra and others uh, who will have to take the fight on to the regressive forces within the Labour Party and within the Tories. Thank you and solidarity.